One fishing spot in St. Tammany Parish is still waiting on approval before it can reopen. It's been closed for two years, leaving fishermen bobbing around for new spots. As Mike McDaniel found out, it'll take a while, but should be worth the wait. Always. Always since I was growing up, I was always fishing. <laughs> When Pedro Perez showed up at the St. Tammany Parish Fishing Pier in Slidell Tuesday afternoon, he hoped to cast a line. Me and my family, we used to come like at least two, three times a week, I mean a month. Used to, because the pier has been closed since Hurricane Ida damaged it two years ago. Perez from New Orleans keeps checking back, thinking one day it'll be open. I got a boat, but uh, if we don't feel like going on a boat, you can come over here on a, on a pier and fish. The damaged wooden walkway connected land to the concrete sections of the old twin span in Lake Pontchartrain. The utilities and bathrooms must also be replaced. We want to make sure that when we do, that it's sustainable uh, for the future. Parish President Mike Cooper says the pier must not only be rebuilt, but also redesigned. That's because two hurricanes have now damaged and closed it since it opened in 2012. Typically, FEMA reimburses for what you have, and what we had uh, continually is destroyed and this time we're asking for additional money so it's taken FEMA additional time to approve that. Cooper says the nearly three million dollar redesign project will make the pier more sturdy, able to handle storms and lure in more visitors. Cooper expects it'll be mid next year at the earliest before any work can even get started out here. When that happens and the pier is reopened, the plan is to add to it. There are plans to tackle a boat launch and expand the parking lot. Cooper says the parish is already trying to reel in ways to pay for it. It's a great asset, and I can't tell you how, how many times uh, people are contacting us and urging us to get the pier back open. Cooper is confident it'll happen, but like fishing, it'll take patience. I see a lot of people, especially on the weekends, they come and thinking that it was maybe open by now. Until it is, Perez will bait his hook elsewhere. As far as the DNA, can, can, can go without fishing. <laughs> Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Definitely a good day to go fishing. The fact that we think 90.